Happy weekend everyone! Today we have another overview of the handmade watercolors from Europe. Um, they called Creativas Colors and I ordered three paints, this three, uh, and also I got one as a gift. They were not wrapped or anything, they just arrived just like that, uh, with just a number on the side, so no paper wrapping. Um, but they are not sticky, so I don't mind, and uh, they're quite nice, I will show you now. And this one is very mystery color that I will, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll explain a bit. Uh, I also got this tester for the November special colors that was left over in the store. Um, they're very light, we'll see. I will I will also swatch them at the, the end very quickly. Uh, besides that, they have this nice booklet um, with all the colors that they have in their permanent collection. And uh, it shows all the details, including pigments. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, in my uh, handmade watercolor comparisons video that I will make sometime after I try at least six brands, I will tell you my criteria of like how, what do I like in the, in the paints. Um, and one of it is uh, showing the pigment uh, num number. I don't know. Um, for me, it it's it says about transparency, mm, maybe. I, I like to, I got used to you know the pigment colors. So let's start. Okay, let's start swatching. I named them all so you can see right away. This is Castle Brown Woodstain nice long name and this is the color I really like because it goes to quite a dark one it has this depth and warmth of the earth colors that I really appreciate So that this, my selection here was quite earthy, as you see, uh, because it was quite hard to choose in the web shop uh, to see like what colors are available because they were all like were in one list, you know how it goes, and then not all of them has pictures. Now I have their catalog, so it's gonna be easier for me if I want to order more. But mm, yeah. So it was hard for me to find some interesting um, colored colors, you know, <laughs> like all the bright greens and yellows and reds. Um, and also my handmade palette was missing a bit of um, earth colors. So that's, that's a good one. Uh, so you see okra, it's pretty standard color. Um, not much to write home about. I like actually when they are more, a bit more transparent. Um, then this slate gray extra light, you will see I pre-wetted it, unlike other brands, because it's a bit harder to re-wet this brand in general. Maybe it's earth colors uh, like that, maybe others are different. Um, and I really wanted this light, I, I really like light grays, whoops, oh what to do, I made it dirty, okay, we're saved. So um, yeah, I really like light grays colors, I really like this light colors, but this one not only light, but as many light colors is hard to rewet. So I'm actually thinking now if I want to keep it in my palette 
um, but most, most likely I will because really the tone of this uh, grey is very nice is is not very usual um, I don't have anything like it really and then the fourth mystery color um, it says the number on the side but it doesn't look like a photo uh, so I'm not sure if it matches I will I will add the number and all the info in the description of the video but what is amazing about this color is that it has this pretty bright shimmer but there is not too much of the shimmer and there is some under color which heavily granulates and this is this like cold bluish color that I love I am I'm so happy that I got this as a gift uh, as an addition to this order you will see it now drying and you will see how nicely granulating it gets and how you don't see that much shimmer in it I don't I'm not a big fan of the shimmery watercolors so let's wait for it to dry while the other side is drying I thought I will quickly show you this special colors um, the theme of this month the month of November 2022 was serenity I think or something and all these colors you will see are super light incredibly light um, the names are in German I don't speak German so I will just show you maybe maybe you guys someone you speak German so you can read but you see it's like slight tint colors which is hmm. even the ink from printed names ink from printed names is um, looking brighter <laughs> I'm sorry I don't want to say anything bad about them and as I already said whoops that's a cat uh, as I already said I really like light colors but that's a bit too much and I need to work a bit too much also to to dig it so I don't know maybe um, some of you like that kind of colors and paints or maybe if they would be in tubes that would be easier but yeah it's very very light very hard to take a get a color but this mint green is um, very pretty I also like this green also granulating a bit very light gray and the last one it's a very nice dot card I um, hope I will see more later on the website I think now only this one and some other second like also like from 2022 month available um, but yeah I really like when there is opportunity to try more colors from the brand especially like um, handmade where you know you you don't know that much what to expect it's not a brand like Schminke or Daniel Smith where majority of the paints will be of the similar quality not qualities but the quality will be uh, expected um, 
yeah so I'm very happy that uh, I was given this card you can read the names now maybe maybe not no no focus okay while we were doing it actually these colors dried and you can see the granulation of the mystery color that's been told to be number let's look at it number 182 so you can search for it I will also leave the link in the description for the rest let's take a closer look see this brown wood color this is very nice and deep ochre slate gray mm, yeah it's hard to rewet but i probably will keep it in this palette because the color is very nice this ochre mm, not so much i will see uh, which colors are competing with it because i already um, ordered quite a few and i will um, i see that they will not all fit of course i ordered more than than would fit that's uh, that was just a given and this manka i will move it you'll see a bit of a sheen to it like this blue bright sheen but uh, depending on the light it's visible more or less but i never seen it in this few days of testing it to be really in your face shimmer um so here we go this is a review of creativist colors um uh, i will think maybe now when i have this catalog i will order more if i need more i don't think i need more uh, you see this uh, handmade palette slowly filling in and a few orders I still wait for to deliver. Have a great day!